Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to Croctober. I'm in a collaboration with Jenny Golf and 28 other um, YouTube channels. I'm not gonna try to remember them all and tell them all to you, but believe me, they are amazing channels. You're gonna wanna go down below in the description box where I'm going to put a link to all of the channels. I'm also gonna put a link to Jenny's Facebook page, Croctober 2021 Facebook page. You're gonna to wanna to go to there and just, you know, you can keep track of all the recipes that are, we're doing. It'll be on my, all on, on my uh, description below, and it's also going to be on Jenny's, and I'll have links to all that. So what I'm going to do is a slow cooker beef stroganoff. This is something you can get together before you go to work, before you start working outside, doing chores all day. It's so simple, so easy to put together, and it is so delicious. So I've got four tablespoons of butter already sauteing over here in the pan with a little bit of olive oil so the butter does not burn. Let me put these onions in here so they can start cooking. I've also, I'm using two small white onions and I'm just dicing them with a pretty good sized dice because they're gonna cook all day in the crock pot. I don't want them just going to mush. So I want some pieces that I can actually bite into when I'm eating. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to pre-cook the um, noodles that are going to go into the beef stroganoff. You're going to, at the end, when you get home, when it's about time to eat, you're just going to add them in and they will cook right along with it. The meat and the veggies. There we go. Get all those in. Just let these start sauteing and brown a little bit. I might just crank that up just a tad. Okay. Oops. And while those are sauteing, I've got a chuck roast here, about two and a half pounds. And before everyone yells, I don't have a washcloth down here. This is rubber little feet on here. So when I put this down, this thing's not moving. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dice this up. Well, not dice it, chunk it up in about bite sized pieces. And then we're going to ground them off just a tad in the skillet. So maybe one inch, just whatever size that you like your meat to be. And this, now, this is one of the dishes that you're gonna use a tougher piece of meat because it's gonna cook all day long in the crock pot, as you know, and it's just gonna break it down, all the tissue, all the, no, not really tissue, the fat, and a little bit of that cartilage that may be in there. So you can use a tougher, less expensive grade of meat. I don't know where you're gonna get less expensive. I bought this, I think I paid $13, $15. The prices of meat are just crazy. That's why when I see it on sale, you know what? Probably should have taken that little white piece out of there. When I see it on sale, I buy like chicken and such, and I, I can it because prices are getting outrageous. Cook a little more. So this is just one of the many dishes you're going to get this month. People are using the uh, crock pot. Some are using instant pot. You're gonna find all kinds of amazing dishes. It's just in time for fall when we like these heavier, more filling, satisfying comfort meals. Let me put this over here. That's all cut up. Wash my hand a little bit. Ooh, a little more. Gotta get my, my cast iron holder here. Okay, I'm gonna crank it up to about medium high. I'm gonna add in the beef. And we're just gonna try to brown that on all sides before we put it in the crock pot. Remember that browning gives flavor. Okay. Now try to get the meat down in contact with the cast iron skillet. You don't have to use cast iron, but it is the best to use. That's that well. Okay, so while that's browning, I've got three and a half cups of water. 
And usually I bring my friend Jack into the kitchen to help. Well, today I'm bringing Johnny. Johnny likes to help. Usually you'd make the beef stroganoff with the cognac, but you can also make it with whiskey. If you don't want any alcohol under it at all, you can just use extra beef stock. So I've got three and a half cups of water. I'm gonna use a half a cup of whiskey, just because I like whiskey better than cognac. Now, the original recipe calls for one cup of cognac to three cups of water. But I'm only using a half a cup of whiskey, so I'm going to increase half a cup of water in there. Because you do want the liquid to be at the same volume, so when you put in the noodles at the end, they cook. So uh, let's get this. I'm also going to add in, uh, I need a spoon, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And I'm just going to mix this all together in here. So we're going to pour it in the crock pot here in a second. I've got two teaspoons of ground thyme. I got three or four cloves of garlic minced. Maybe a little more because I like the garlic. This over here. Now I'm just going to put a, probably about a teaspoon of pepper, and about a teaspoon, half teaspoon of salt, maybe a little more. We'll taste that at the end and see how it tastes. We're just starting to brown that nice. And we get some brown on all sides. Okay, so let's just mix this in real good. That fried thyme, I probably should have put it in at the beginning because it's just floating on top. Kind of like cinnamon. We can whisk it in there. Okay. Now let me throw the mushrooms. I've got about eight ounces of white mushrooms here. I'm just gonna put them in here as well. I don't want to cover this and steam it because that's just going to hold all the moisture in. I want the moisture to get out, evaporate. Like I want that mushroom to get out. Now you can also do this in the Instant Pot. If you have an Instant Pot and you want to try that, you can saute all this right in the Instant Pot. Just put it on the saute setting and it'll come out just as good. So I've got all this mixed and I have one and a half cups of, I hope it fits. One and a half cups of sour cream. I'm gonna mix that down in here. And I'll make enough. I'm just going to try to incorporate that without getting it all over the counter. What I think I'm going to do is plug in the crock pot and put it in here and finish mixing it. You're going to cook it in the slow cooker, I've got crock pot, but slow cooker, five to six hours on high or seven to nine hours on low. So just depending on what time you want it served is dependent on what, what you're going to set it on. And I'm going to put all these ingredients, all the instructions, of course, as always, down below in my description. And it's also going to be on my website where you can print it out if you'd like a printed copy at gregs-kitchen.com. Okay, that's all nice and mixed. Get these mushrooms down in the bottom of that pan, get some brown on them. I'm just going to hit high because I want a nice color on this meat. And some of this meat I did not get cut all the way through. Come on, cheap, and use my scissors. That works perfect. Oh, give me a meat facial here. Okay. Mm, those mushrooms smell so good with those onions. 
I would have put the garlic in here too, but I didn't want the garlic to burn. So that's why I'm going to just let it cook in the slow cooker. Some of these chunks look a little large. So I'm going to just give them a little cut. All right. I got some brown on the mushroom, getting some brown on the meat there. Going to let that cook for like another minute. So it starts the bottom, turn it over. Then we're going to put it all in the slow cooker and get it set to go. All right. We got some good brown here. Let's turn that off. And get this all evacuated into the slow cooker. What can we use? I guess we'll just. Yeah, this is my big one. How about I get a little helping hand here? Okay. Whoops. Hey, I didn't get it out. All right. Ooh, that is heavy. Just be very careful because this pan's hot and that steam's still coming off of it. But we're just going to get everything in here. It's going like, to look like a little extra broth, liquid than usual. That's going to cook out during the day. And we're also going to ah, add the noodles to that at the end. So there we go. All right. I've lost the lid. There it is. Okay, just clean off the top so it doesn't cook into that because it's going to cook all day long. So we're going to set it. I'm going to do probably five hours, six hours because on high. And then, there we go. And then I'll bring you back at, when we're done with that and I'll show you what we're going to do with the noodles. Talk to you soon. Okay, everybody, we're back. The uh, beef stroganoff has been cooking, wow, about five and a half hours. So, whew, there goes the steam. So now I'm gonna put the noodles in. This is where I said you don't have to pre-cook the noodles. First, I just wanna see how tender the meat is. And actually, let me see if I can get some tongs here. Cause this, as I said, was a tough piece of meat chuck roast, but as you see, cooking it all day long, it just basically falls apart. I mean, it's well cooked, it's nice and tender. So you don't wanna swing or s stir this up too much. You don't wanna get it too broken up the meat. Now, I forgot to tell you after I started this this morning, as I was walking out to go to work, I remembered I forgot to tell you I put better than bouillon beef stock. I put a, about a heaping tablespoonful of this in here just for a little bit more beef flavor and I stirred it in. So that did go in there and it's in the instructions down below. Now I have a little bit, about a tablespoon of cornstarch and some ice water. I'm gonna put that in. That's just gonna help thicken it up a little bit. And then I've got, what is this? A 12 ounce bag of the wide egg noodles. You can use any kind of pasta you want, noodle-wise, but I just use the egg noodles. We're gonna put these in. We're going to stir it up, get them all down into the liquid, and we're gonna let it cook for another 20, 30 minutes until they're just, just like kind of al dente. And then we'll come back and check it out for seasoning, for salt and pepper. Make sure you get all these down in there. Cooking something else in the oven in another video. You guys will see that soon. It's actually going to be what's going with this, my sour cream biscuits. Okay, so I got those down in there. I'm going to cook these for about 20, 30 minutes. I'm going to check them in about 10 minutes, stir it again, try to get the ones on top down below. So I'll just set a timer for 10 minutes. And we'll be back. 
Okay, everybody, it's been about 15, 20 minutes, probably about 18 minutes in between. I just tasted this. It tastes delicious. Let me set this over here out of the way. I did add a little bit of salt to it. Um, it needed a little bit of salt, so I added that to it. And I did it 10 minutes, stir the noodles. And as you can see, it is nice and thick, not watery, perfectly cooked. Let me get some out here. This stuff smells good. And I didn't have to cook all day. I just came home. It's almost ready for me. Put a little, I don't have any fresh parsley, so I'm gonna put a little dry parsley on there. And I always do like a little bit of extra sour cream on mine. Let me give that a taste. It's hot. Look at the steam coming out of there. Anybody wanna try? No? Okay. Nobody did. So let me get it. Mmm. So rich. That oh, those biscuits that I told you about are done. We'll get that in a second. But no, you can taste, you can actually taste a little bit of the whiskey in there. The sour cream and the beef base. You really taste the sour cream in it. I didn't even get any of the sour cream yet. Just from the side. The meat is just falling apart tender. As you see, you don't have to pre-cook your uh, noodles. Just put them in when you get home. Let them sit for about 15, 20 minutes. Stir them halfway through. That way you get them all down below. You want them a little al dente. You don't want them real mushy. This is delicious. You all got to give it a try. Don't forget, this is Croctober. Jenny Golf has got 28 other stations other than myself and her that are doing a recipe every day in either Crock-Pot, Instapot, things like that. Jenny's already done an autumn chicken squash. That looked delicious. And Rachel over at 1870's Homestead did chicken and dumplings, which everyone knows I love chicken and dumplings. I think we still have uh, someone's doing chicken chili, sugared pecans. I think that's uh, Miss Lori over at Whipper Will Holler. Uh, pumpkin chili, a plum chili chicken. That sounds amazing. I can't wait to see that one. Ravioli lasagna and a ropa vieja. So don't forget to look down below at all the other channels. You need to go to their channels. Like and subscribe, watch it. You guys are gonna find some great recipes. I'll also put um, Jenny's, um, what is it? Uh, Croctober Extravaganza 2021 Facebook group. I'll put a link to that. I'll put a link to my Facebook group down there too if y'all are interested. So enjoy Croctober with everybody. Thank you very much for coming to our kitchen. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.